Back now to the Middle East, Palestinian protesters taking to the streets in the West Bank. They are clashing with Israeli forces, Palestinians throwing rocks and stones at Israeli soldiers. At least 360 Palestinians have been killed since the raid began, many Hamas militants, but also a number of civilians. Joining us now live, Palestinian legal advisor Diana Butu, who, as I understand, is live from Ramallah. Thank you for being with us. The Israeli military launched its attack on Gaza because Hamas simply would not stop firing rockets into Israel. Would you agree that Hamas is to blame for all of these terrible Palestinian deaths? Absolutely not. Uh, you are blaming the victim. It has been proven time and again that even when Hamas does not fire a single rocket, and it's important to note that these rockets do not have explosive heads, that nonetheless Israel continues to fire upon Gaza. Over the course of the past two years, there have been close to 2,000 Palestinians in Gaza who have been killed. And most recently, when, Palestin when Americans were celebrating the election victory of Barack Obama, Israel used that opportunity to go into the Gaza Strip and kill Palestinians. So this is not at all a question of Israel simply responding. It's a question of Israel initiating. And this is a violation of international law. Boy, you are completely misrepresenting the facts, but I'll move on. Hamas deliberately places its command true. sites and arsenals in heavily populated residential neighborhoods, including schools. They use innocent mm -hmm. civilians, including children, as human shields. So isn't Hamas also to blame for the very high death toll in Gaza? Absolutely not. You have never been to the Gaza Strip. You don't know what it looks like. The Gaza Strip is a very densely populated area, and the places that the Israelis are targeting are, are not military installations, but actually government offices that were once the offices of the President Mahmoud Abbas. There are hospitals that they have targeted, there are schools that they have targeted, there are mosques that they have targeted. It is wrong to be blaming the victims and saying that it is somehow the victim's fault for the fact that Israel is using U.S. weaponry to kill Palestinians. That is simply incorrect. These are war crimes, and Israel should be prosecuted for carrying out its war crimes, and you should not be defending them. Diana Buda, you're wrong again. I have been to Gaza. I spent a lot of time in Gaza City, Gaza Strip, the West Bank. I've met with uh, terrorists there. I know what they're doing. Uh, and you're simply wrong in assuming that I've never been to Gaza, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Diana you are Budu. wrong, and you are Diana wrong in Buda, your characterization good day to you. of good what day is to happening you. there.